Allah says in the Quran, make not your own hands contribute to your destruction, nor kill yourselves. Shisha, also known as hookah pipes, use tobacco sweetened with fruit and molasses sugar, which makes the smoke more aromatic than cigarette smoke. Popular flavorings include apple, plum, coconut, mango, mint, strawberry, and cola. Wood, coal, or charcoal is burnt in the shisha pipe to heat the tobacco and create the smoke because the fruit syrup or sugar makes the tobacco damp. The smoke is cooled by the water and makes it feel less harsh. And experts warn that as a result, people inhale more deeply into the lungs, which increases the risks even further. Shisha smoking is a growing concern, but because people aren't aware of the risks like they are with cigarette smoking. According to a study published in the 2012 issues of CDC's Preventing Chronic Diseases, many shisha smokers believe that smoking a hookah pipe carries less risk of tobacco related diseases than cigarette smoking. One of the reasons for this increase in popularity is the widespread misconception that it is a safer alternative to cigarettes and cigar smoking. Aside from its misleading labeling like contains zero milligram tar, many believe that since tobacco is inhaled through water, the harmful ingredients are filtered. Unlike cigarette smokers, shisha users are not well informed of the damaging effects of shisha to the body. Not much research has been done addressing the shisha or tobacco smoking using water pipe and on its prevention and cessation strategies. One in five teenagers smoke hookah, half think it's healthy. Another study showed that 16% of hookah bar patrons surveyed all between 18 and 30 years of age thought that the hookah smoke lacked nicotine and wasn't addictive. And 56% said that hookah wasn't harmful to their health at all. Around half of those surveyed thought that the pipes would generally have several feet of hose for the smoke to travel through, somehow filtered out the toxic components with air and water. Some even thought that the tasty flavors given to hookah smoke, which can be delightfully fruity, served to make them less toxic. While research about hookah smoking is still emerging, shocking evidence so far shows that it poses many dangers. The World Health Organization has warned that a one hour shisha session can be as harmful as a hundred cigarettes. This is because a cigarette smoker typically takes around eight and 12 puffs, inhaling 0.5 to 0.6 liters of smoke. But during an hour long shisha session, smokers may take up to 200 drags, ranging from 0.15 to one liter of smoke each. In a one hour long session, smoking involves 200 puffs, while an average cigarette is 20 puffs. The volume of smoke inhaled during the typical hookah session is about 90,000 milliliters, compared with about 5 to 600 milliliters inhaled when smoking a cigarette. When you smoke shisha, you and anyone sitting near you are breathing in smoke, which releases toxins including carbon monoxide and heavy metals, reducing your body's ability to carry oxygen around in your blood. Cigarettes on ashtray, traditionally, shisha tobacco contains cigarette tobacco. So like cigarettes, it contains nicotine, tar, carbon monoxide and heavy metals such as arsenic and lead. As a result, shisha smokers are at a risk of the same kind of diseases as cigarette smokers such as heart disease, cancer, respiratory diseases and problems during pregnancy. Smoke from tobacco contains a number of carcinogens which damage the DNA in cells. Just one damaged cell can divide and multiply uncontrollably and quite quickly develop into large tumours. This is what causes lung cancer. In the research conducted by the Department of Health and Center for Tobacco Control Research, people who smoke shisha or herbal tobacco can suffer from high carbon monoxide. As with cigarettes, the presence of high levels of carbon monoxide, tar and heavy metals can be carcinogenic or cancer causing in the body. Though there is a high risk, not only for cigarette smokers, but also for shisha smokers to suffer from cancer, particularly of the lips, mouth, tongue, throat and lungs, and also cardiovascular diseases. In the recent study published in the journal Cancer Epidemiology, Biomarkers and Prevention, just one evening of hookah smoking could make nicotine urine levels spike by more than 70 times and also result in an increase of cancer-causing agents. Researchers from the University of California, San Francisco examined the urine of 55 healthy people who had used the water pipe or hookahs before. The participants were asked to abstain from any type of smoking for one week, after which they submitted urine samples to the study researchers. Then the participants went to the hookah bar of their choice for an evening, after which they provided urine samples to the researchers again. In addition to information on the amount of time they spent hookah smoking, how many bowls they smoked and a number of other shared users. The participants also gave urine from the morning after the hookah smoking session to the researchers. On average, each participant used 0.6 bowls of water pipe tobacco and spent 74 minutes smoking the water pipes. Upon analysis of the participants, urine after smoking the hookah compared with before smoking 
in the hooker, urine levels of nicotine were increased 73 folds and the levels of cortinine, which is a metabolite of nicotine, were increased four folds. In addition, levels of the breakdown products of chemicals known to increase cancer were increased in the urine, including NNAL, which was increased two folds the breakdown products of volatile organic compounds, which was increased 14 to 91%. While other studies have also shown that hookah smoking is associated with increased levels of toxins that can lead to health risks, this study is unique in that it reflected the effects after a normal night of hookah smoking. Other studies typically involve smoking hookah in a clinical setting. According to research chemists based at the San Francisco General Hospital and Trauma Center, those who smoke shisha have increased levels of benzene and carbon monoxide. Benzene has been shown to increase one's risk of developing leukemia, while carbon monoxide is especially dangerous to people with heart and respiratory conditions. In addition to developing toxic substances from the charcoal and tobacco, the heat causes chemical reactions in the mixture, which produces toxic volatile organic compounds, VOCs, and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAH. Some PAHs are highly carcinogenic and can cause lung cancer. Furthermore, researchers measured carbon monoxide in the breath over 24 hours and found levels 2.5 times higher after water pipe use in comparison to cigarette smoking. Shisha is as dangerous as cigarette smoking. Shisha contains carbon monoxide, CO, in amounts equal to or greater than that from cigarettes. CO replaces oxygen on red blood cells, making it harder for the body to deliver oxygen to vital organs, which can later lead to organ damage. Smoking shisha contains significant amounts of nicotine, levels of caustic compounds such as tar, carbon monoxide, which is from car exhaust, heavy metals like cobalt and lead, and a host of cancer-causing chemicals. Shisha smoking produces similar increased blood nicotine levels and heart rate as cigarette use. The inhaled substance triggers chemical reactions in nerve endings. This releases dopamine, which is associated with the feeling of pleasure. This seems to play an important role in nicotine addiction. A shisha smoker is still smoking tobacco and the nicotine in it causes dependence after using it for several times. Pregnant women smoking a shisha are putting their unborn child at great risk for low birth weight and other birthing problems. Other health risks include the spread of infectious diseases like tuberculosis, herpes and hepatitis. Viral infections can be transmitted through the sharing of the same mouthpiece, a common custom in many cultures. Secondhand smoke is also a worry. If you're smoking with other people or in a public place and the shisha includes cigarette tobacco, it's likely you'll breathe in their secondhand smoke too. Other health risks, not many shisha users realize that the risk of getting communicable diseases is very high. Shisha smoking may not directly cause it, but it is also associated with the sharing of water pipes. Getting tuberculosis, herpes, and other common illnesses like colds and flu viruses are some of the dangers of shisha and can be another problem. Hookah smoke contains high levels of toxic compounds, including tar, carbon monoxide, heavy metals, and cancer-causing chemicals, carcinogens. In fact, hookah smokers are exposed to more carbon monoxide and smoke than are in smoking cigarettes. Educating the youth about the dangers. One way of preventing the youth from smoking the hookah is by educating young people about harmful health effects associated with hookah smoking. The more research is being conducted, the more ill effects of shisha are being revealed. Allah says in the Quran, make not your own hands contribute to your destruction, nor kill yourselves. Please don't forget to like us and share us on the Digital Mimba Facebook and Twitter. Please also subscribe to the Digital Mimba YouTube channel in the links below.